Hey everyone, North Central here. Thanks for tuning in. A few months ago, I did a video entitled Fighting Viruses Part 1, Keeping the Outside Outside. And in that, I just went through a few things that I did whenever I came home from work to help not spread uh, germs and viruses and whatnot throughout my house. I did a, a very few specific things to help get myself cleaned up for when I'm going to be at home for the evening. We're going to continue on with that. This one's going to be more along the lines of hitting hot spots and things on a daily use for inside your home. So stay tuned and we'll get right to it. Well, the first one was just right here behind me. It's the doorknob right here on all your doors, all your outside doors and inside doors. And you know, the cleaner that I like to use is this Clorox disinfecting wipes. And right here it says right on it kills cold and flu viruses, non-bleach, which means it uses another type of chemical to help do it. But in the sense of things, you know, it's, it's going to kill the viruses and the germs and the bacteria and whatnots. So this is what I like to use. You could use a regular Clorox bleach and water solution. You could use some type of soap and water. I would prefer it be, if I was going to do that, uh, some type of antibacterial soap or something like that to clean this stuff. But whatever you decide to use, um, you know, make sure it's going to kill flu viruses. So simply with these these are pretty cheap they're uh, and there's a lot of them in here so simply grab one of them pull it off close the top and you get this nice little little square here okay one side's got is kind of rougher than the other it's got these little wafer like the cleaning agent things on them I grab that and then of course it's just a matter of cleaning the doorknob wiping it down good and the upper lock as well. Yeah, let's not forget to do the outside one as well. So simply wipe it off. Really good. And then close it up. Another good one to do is right here by my door, and this has to do with all of the light fixtures throughout my house. I like to clean the whole fixture, turn everything off. Sorry if it got dark all of a sudden. Clean down in between, turn all of them on, and clean the bottom half. And I do this to all the fixtures in my home, or at least the ones that we use most of the time on a daily basis. Next is electronic devices that you find in your living room or around your house. You know, my phone. I definitely like to clean off my phone. Set it down to dry. Different remotes. How many times a day does different people grab, a, grab your remote and use it on the TV? So just give it a good little rub down all over it, bottom, top, in between the buttons. Okay. Laptops. I go ahead with the laptops, cover the keys lightly, the pad. Close it up again. Do the outside. Grab a new one. This is my refrigerator. Refrigerator up top, freezer down below. And this is, gets used a whole lot throughout the course of the day. And there's stuff all over these handles. You know that there is. So disinfectant wipe, clean off the handles. And you know, you can do any of this more than once a day if you feel the need to it. And while I do that, I go ahead and do in here too, a little bit. As well as this sh bottom shelf, because my son likes to use it as a step to get up to everything else. And 
that's it with the refrigerator. Yep, the stove. The microwave the handle, the pad. And where we're at it here, the knobs to your cabinet doors. Absolutely. Your sink, and not just your kitchen sink, but your bathroom sinks as well. You know, go ahead and clean the stem. I always clean this as well, the sprayer, the knobs, it's easier when you're not running a camera. How about your mouse and computer screen? I like to do my mouse. And then I also like to do a computer screen. Now, the reason that I do my computer screen is because this is a touch screen, as you can see, okay? So, just very simply. Especially over here on the sides where some of your buttons are. The base. Okay, so... That's some of the hot spots that I like to do inside my house. The doorknobs, the light switches, the electronic devices, uh, your phones, your remotes, uh, your laptop, even the computer screen and mouse, the refrigerator handles, the, uh, the stove handles and, and, and pad, the microwave handle and pad, the, the doorknob, or the, not the doorknobs, but the, the little doorknobs on all of your cabinetry throughout your house, okay? This doesn't have to be in one room. You know, go throughout your house. If you're going to do doorknobs, do all the doorknobs in your home, including, including your closet doorknobs. If you're going to do, you know, electronic devices, you know, collect them up, go through them, go ahead and wipe them all down. You know, these are things that are touched multiple times a day and have a big chance, especially if you have children of getting some type of virus or something on them that, they, that can potentially get you and the rest of your family sick. So I hope this was helpful, and if you have any comments or other things that you like to do or wipe down or do something different, uh, please let me know. Until next time, this is North Central. Thanks for watching.